As a child, I was a scientist. My parents were not at all, but they were encouraging. And that was good. I brought home rocks and bugs and things at the youngest age I can imagine. When I was two and three, I was collecting rocks and building rock gardens in the backyard, um, much to sometimes the chagrin of my parents, um, was inspired by the natural world, just at the youngest I can imagine, wondering why spiders spin webs or um, why there are some large insects and small ones. Um, as a youngster, I grew up all over the world, which was fortunate. I saw a lot of things um, and was fascinated. As an eight-year-old, I realized that I wanted to see and touch a squid. So I dammed a tidal mud flat in Greece and caught a squid with a group of other little kids who were, you know, whatever we were, second, third grade, and had a squid in a bucket and let it go. But it was a fun ex experience. When I was in junior high, I identified an insect in Connecticut, where I was living at the time, that was not cataloged as being in that state, because I kind of thought I'd seen it, but didn't know, found it, lied around in swamps a lot to find it. Um, so did a little bit of everything, but I think science and questioning, I mean, science is just curiosity with structure, really, and tools. I think I was born that way, and my brother says, you were. My parents said, God forbid, you were. So I was hooked at birth, and the idea of extending that into space got me the first second I even thought you could do that. So, you know, I, I can say that's what I always wanted to do. I've been lucky beyond belief to be able to do that. And there's something in science I think it's important to realize in all of us and for everyone. It doesn't have to be the weird equations that I think are kind of cool, but a lot of people don't. And it doesn't have to be the, you know, endless years of very uh, detailed work to catalog and, and try to build the, the observations to solve a problem. It's, there's a little bit of science in all of us. And so for me, if you will, for me, discussing that with people and finding their science passions is really important, even at a center, even at NASA centers where we have a lot of scientists.